you need test designer rights to create your own detection test. Only the ACE user with administrator rights can change your authorization level. Click on the create new test icon. Click on the discrimination icon. This will allow you to create a new test based on the engine of the ACE phoneme discrimination test. Enter the name of your new test and also a description. Set the default intensity. This is the intensity at which the sounds will be presented by default. Add the WAV files you want to include as test items. It is of paramount importance that these files have been calibrated against the ACE calibration file. More information can be found in the ACE manual and help function. Decide how many rows and columns you need to display the items in the final test screen. Drag and drop each WAV file to its desired position on the screen. Define whether this sound is going to be used as background or stimulus sound in the oddity paradigm. The same sound can be used more than once. A stimulus sound can come with a conditioning sound. This is another sound which is presented during the conditioning mode. It is often very similar to but more salient than the stimulus sound. You can change the label that will be displayed on the final item button. You can add a picture to represent the test item. You can choose whether the final button displays the label, the picture, or both. More settings can be defined if wanted. You can attribute a test version to the test. You can change the default interval between two consecutive presentations. You can change the roving level. Sounds are presented at a level between the set intensity minus the roving level and the set intensity plus the roving level. An icon can be added to represent the new test. Short instructions can be entered. This is a text that appears when the information button is pressed. At this moment only the instructions for the audiologist are functional. You can disable the possibility to have an undo button while executing the test. The test can be deleted by checking this box. If more own tests exist, the position index defines the rank of this test in the list view. Click OK to save the settings. You can also manage the way you want to display the test results on the results sheet. By default, only results will be shown of items which have been tested. The display order will be the chronological test order. This default behavior however can be changed. You can impose a predefined display ranking by selecting a contrast and adding it to the display list. The actual setting would have the following consequence. Suppose that the contrasts piano guitar and piano clarinet are presented during the test together with a number of other contrasts, then the results of the piano guitar will be displayed first, the contrast piano clarinet second, and any other contrasts will be displayed in the order of presentation. Check this box if you want to display the contrast on the results report, even if it has not been tested. The report now shows the field in any case, but it is left empty if the contrast has not been scored. This button allows you to give a background color to the report line showing the result on this test item.
you can define playlists. These are lists of contrasts that will be played one after the other. First create a playlist and give it a name and description. Then define the first contrast by selecting a background sound and a stimulus sound. Add this contrast to the list. Now select a second contrast. And so on. Press the save button to save the test and return to the main screen. Please be patient. The saving of the new test can take a while. Your new test appears in this window and is available to be used. All functionality you are acquainted with is available. The conditioning sounds are used in the conditioning mode. Real-time spectral analysis is available. The playlist can be opened and ran 